Well, good day, uh, Roadside America attractions, visitors, and long distance riders. Today I'm in Wamego, Kansas at the Wizard of uh, the Oz Museum. It's all about the Wizard of Oz. They have these great displays. Dorothy, Munchkins, uh, the mayor, as mayor of the land of Oz. Uh, they have a whole collection of, uh, I guess, first edition books of the Wizard of Oz. Are you getting dizzy yet from me spinning around? Oh, uh, there's some artwork, various like artwork things of the of the wizard book. This is pretty cool over here. They have uh, actual costumes from uh, the Munchkins, and then uh, over here are some displays of Dorothy with the ruby slippers. They're not the originals, they're handcrafted by an artist. Although, in this one picture display, you can't, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a swatch of fabric that came from the actual dress, I gather. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty interesting. They have uh, more of these displays. Here's the, uh, the scarecrow. I could while away the hours, conversing with the flowers. <laughs> And then, uh, this is a big quilt for uh, the Wizard of Oz. Pretty ornate. Definitely, it would be a wall hanging piece of artwork and not one when you get all sweaty on and all, you know? Various toys of the Wizard of Oz. Gremlins, you know, toys, Shobo. In the sixth book, we finally brought Anna Dam, Uncle Mary, Dorothy, and Toyo to Tin Man. This is a display on how they did the special effects. Because back in the day, they didn't have digital stuff. They had to do it in, with real materials and stuff. Like the uh, tornado was a piece of fabric that was twisted and, and ran around, you know. And then uh, the house, the down house. And then back in the day, they had to use these big Klieg lights, which evidently the stages were like, like a, almost like a furnace because the lights were so hot. These electric arc and all. Various, uh, various woods of the scarecrow. The cowardly lion. You know. What makes the hot and tot so hot? Well, they got that I ain't got courage. <laughs> Wizard of Oz potato head. What was that? What was that? It's my tail. <laughs> He's afraid of his own tail. Now we're getting into this dark part. She's retired like I am. She came from a house where they don't believe anymore. So I, so I dress her up in my Harley gear and she rides with me across the country while I visit different places. <laughs> oh, by the way, just as you know, Barbie clothes fit the elf on the shelf. Any clothes that fit an 11 and a half inch doll. Did she allow you to touch her? She's retired. You know what? If I hadn't rescued her, she would have been in some sort of elf retirement home. <laughs> Which I, I am trying to fight desperately not to be in. <laughs> so I ran into some people into the dark tunnel of the Wicked Witch of the West. So here's a and I had to explain about the elf, which I have, have to do quite often. So this is a display of the uh, Wicked Witch of the West. And then her with the flying monkeys. And then 
This is a pretty cool display of one of the um, this, uh, guards from the from the castle. And most people think when they see the movie, they think the the guards are singing "Whoa, we yo yo." Well, you can't really understand it, but the actual words to that is "We all love the old one." That's what they're singing the guards when the, when the band tries to infiltrate him. Well, does infiltrate him and get into the castle. Says, "We all love." The old one. <laughs> so just so you know. And so here's some more. That's pretty cool. And then over here is a display of Glinda. Glinda the Good Witch. With the field of poppies, because I don't even remember from the movie, they came out of the they came out of the woods and the poppies that are running around and it like all of a sudden they were like the witch cast a spell on the poppies, and then Linda came and then put the snow, which back in those days, that snow was pure asbestos. <laughs> so, if they all had to die to something when they did, they might have died from that asbestosis or whatever. But you know, it's like, she put that snow down and then they started singing, you're out of the dark, you're into the light. <laughs> so, and then over here is a, Thing with the, the poppies, and then you have the wizard. It's like they're knocking on the doorbell, and it's like, hey, the doorbell, the doorbell broken. Knock instead, you know. <laughs> and then uh, they have this like basket, you know, where, where they went, went home. And it's a more uh, displays of different things. There's a Dr. Marble case there. You remember him? You know, it's like it's all pretty cool. So anyway, that's it. Uh, Roadside America attractions, people like Mark this is writer. I, I suggest you come here and take a look for yourself. It, it's not a very big museum, but it's got a lot of very interesting displays. On that note, God bless. Bye, and I'll be uh, posting my daily vlog later.